Today we're gonna to be diving into Beauty Box by Digital Anarchy, which is a skin retouching plugin for DaVinci Resolve and comparing it to the native beauty effect in Resolve to see if it's worth picking up. Let's take a look. Okay, full disclosure, this video isn't sponsored, but the guys over at Digital Anarchy did send me a copy of this plugin for free to test out. Still, as always, the opinions I state in this video are 100% honest and completely my own. Also, before we actually dive into Resolve and take a look at Beauty Box, I wanna say a couple things. First, before installing and testing out this plugin, I never once used any kind of skin retouching or beauty plugin on a video, and that's probably has to do with the fact that whenever I thought about these types of plugins, the first thing that came to mind was the baked in beauty mode on some phone cameras, which in my opinion are just about the worst thing to ever get installed on a smartphone. And that brings me to my second point. This is not a baked in beauty effect, so you don't have to worry about that. What Beauty Box is, is a fully customizable plugin that can be used to smooth out skin, hide imperfection, and even reduce shine. And it's pretty easy to use too, which is nice. Now, I've already installed the Beauty Box plugin on my computer. That's super easy. It's just like installing anything else. And I've already activated it in Resolve, so we're ready to jump in and get started. I'm in the color page, and you can see I've got a couple of clips here ready to go. One is a clip from one of my past tutorials, and the other is a clip that I got from Artgrid, which is where I get all of my stock footage. If you want to check them out, they'll be linked in the description. And if you sign up through that link, you'll actually get two free months. Okay, back to Resolve. I've already put a little bit of a grade on both these clips and I've used the qualifier to mask out the skin on two separate nodes. On one of these, we'll be using Beauty Box and on the other, we'll be using the native beauty effect. And I guess that brings me to my first point. If you're going to be using an effect or a plugin that is designed for skin retouching, it's important to qualify your skin. Otherwise, you'll run the risk of having the plugin affect the entire image. The Beauty Box plugin does have a way to create this mask from within the plugin, but I found that using the qualifier gave me a much more accurate result. Okay, let's go ahead and add Beauty Box to the node labeled Beauty Box. You do this the same way you would add any effect to a node. Just go into your effects library, type in beauty, and then grab the Beauty Box effect from the Digital Anarchy section and drag it onto the node. And you'll see that at first nothing happens. The skin looks exactly the same. So what we wanna do is scroll down to the bottom of the inspector and click Analyze Frame. And now if we look at our image, you'll see that the skin has been smoothed out quite a bit. Now I could leave it there and it would be good, but Beauty Box has a bunch of customization tools that can help you really dial in the look that you want. For example, I can change the overall smoothing amount, the detail smoothing, and even enhance the contrast. A little bit further down, you'll find the mask section where you can qualify your skin tones. But like I said earlier, I've found that the native qualifier in DaVinci Resolve does a much better job. So I'd suggest going with that. Below the mask section is where you can add or reduce sharpening. And then below that is color correction where you can adjust the hue, saturation, and brightness of your skin. This is probably my favorite part of the plugin, to be honest. The fact that I can make all of those changes from within the plugin plugin makes skin correction a lot easier and it means I don't have to be jumping around the different tools in the color page in order to get good results. Below that is the shine removal tool, which is great if you have a subject with particularly shiny skin like mine. All in all, Beauty Box is pretty simple to use and it produces good results. One of my favorite features is that if I change any of the values and then decide I don't like what I did, I can hit the reset button and instead of going back to zero like a lot of the built-in effects, it will go back to the value that was set when I first analyzed the frame. I love that. I just... I just love that. Okay, let's look at a quick before and after of this clip. Here's before and here's after. I don't know about you, but I think that looks pretty freaking good. It smooths out the skin, makes the subject look a little younger, but it doesn't overdo it and it still looks natural. Now, can we get the same effect from the native beauty effect in DaVinci Resolve? 
Let's find out. Okay, so I've deactivated the node with beauty box on it, and now we're in the node with the native beauty effect applied. I've already qualified the skin tones and applied the beauty effect, but I haven't tweaked it yet. Let's look at how to do that. So unlike the beauty box plugin, there's no way to have this effect analyze the frame. It's all manual. Now there are two ways to do this. First is in automatic mode, which consists of just two sliders for controlling the smoothness and one to control the global blend. The second way is in advanced mode, which gives you complete control over the effect. Let's take a look at the automatic way first. This is pretty easy. First, set the amount of smoothness you want to apply, then play around with the scale slider until it's smoothing out the parts of the skin that you want it to smooth out, and then tweak the global blend until it looks as natural as possible. Now, that looks good, but it's a little bit dark, I think. Unfortunately, you can't brighten the skin in the effect control, so what we have to do is come down to our color wheels and bring the offset master wheel up until it's bright enough. Same thing with saturation and even hue. Now, if we wanted a little more control, we can just click this drop-down box in the effect controls and choose advanced. And here we can play around with the smoothing threshold, light diffusing, texture, detail recovery, and global blend. Okay, that's good. Let's get a quick before and after. And now let's look at Beauty Box's results compared to the native effect. Personally, I think that I was able to get a more natural look with Beauty Box, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Now, this was an example of what these plugins could do on a clip with an older subject where the skin was a little more wrinkled, but what about, say, my face, where you would need a little bit more of a subtle effect? Here's the clip before, with Beauty Box, and with the native beauty effect. Just like before, I was able to get a more natural skin smoothing with Beauty Box than I was with the native effect. However, the analyze frame feature in Beauty Box seemed to produce a more extreme result than I was looking for, and I had to tweak it a little more than I did in the first clip. Okay, so here are my final thoughts. Beauty Box is kind of a plugin that I never thought I would need, but after seeing it in action, I'm glad I have it. I hope that future updates will bring an improved masking tool, but even if it doesn't, the rest of the tools when combined with the qualifier in DaVinci Resolve is more than enough to touch up skin on the people in your videos. So if you have the studio version of Resolve and you're wondering if this is better than the native beauty effect, I think the answer is yes. And if you're on the free version, then the answer is definitely yes because the native beauty effect isn't available in the free version of Resolve. However, Beauty Box is $199, which is only $100 less than DaVinci Resolve Studio. So my suggestion, if you're on the free version of DaVinci Resolve is to save up for the studio version, which will come with not only a decent skin retouching tool, but also a whole bunch of other essential tools for professional video editing. That being said, if you wanna check out Beauty Box for yourself, there is a link in the description. You can try it out for free, but there is a watermark, so I wouldn't necessarily export any videos until you've actually paid for it. There are a lot of amazing plugins out there that can really expand the capabilities of DaVinci Resolve. I just reviewed another one that completely blew my mind a couple weeks ago. If you wanna check that out, click right here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that will make you a better video editor, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.